Affiliate marketing is pretty cool because it's mostly passive income. Like you just look in your bank account and you're like, oh, I got money. That's cool, right? You don't really have to do anything to get that money. You have to do something to set up the system that brings in the money. But once the system is set up, then there's nothing that you really have to do in order to continue getting money. So I want to go over how to get started with affiliate marketing if you're a complete beginner. Um, including the four ways that that I know of to do it. Now, these are probably not the only ways. There are probably other ways. And I know that there are other ways that take a lot of work and a lot of effort. Like you can spam people on Facebook messages. And I get a lot of people that do that. And it's really annoying. I don't recommend it. But these are the four ways that I know work um, and that I recommend doing. So uh, the first one, and, and I'll go over the, the first three here um, are kind of the, the more standard ones I'll go over. And then number four is my personal favorite, um, which I'll get to last. That's that's a little bit, um, you might not think of it. So number one is paid ads, right? So you can find an affiliate product. And by the way, if you don't know how to find an affiliate product, obviously that's step one. So there's a bunch of places that have affiliate products. Um, probably the best known is ClickBank. If you go to clickbank.com, you can see a whole bunch of affiliate products that are for sale. All you have to do is get a link to the product that you choose. And you can see a bunch of stuff about the product. And it's good to choose a product that you kind of know something about that um, you would you kind of understand the mindset of the user. So if you find like a product on how to make money online, like if you have if you've been in that space for a while, then that's good. If you find a product on how to lose weight, right? If you've been through a weight loss uh, journey yourself, then that that might be helpful. So you just pick something that you think is going to appeal to people. Um, based on your own experience, or actually pretty soon I'm going to have my own affiliate product, which is a recurring revenue model, which by the way, if you like passive income, recurring revenue is best, right? So there's a bunch of products where you just sell it one time and you get a percentage of the price, right? So if you sell a product for a thousand bucks, you get 40%, well, then you made 400 bucks. But the problem is that you have to sell another one in order to ever get paid again. Whereas if you find a product that's, let's say, $100 a month and you get paid 40% of that, then you get paid that 40 bucks every single month until the person cancels. And so you can sell more and more. So if you sell 10 of those, then now you're making 400 a month. If you sell 100 of those, now you're making 4,000 a month, et cetera. So recurring is nice. But anyway, um, back to this, how, do you, how to actually get people to your link. Once you have the affiliate link, which is the link where people buy the product and you get paid. Well, how do you get people to go to that link in the first place? So number one is paid ads. So you go to a platform like Facebook, like uh, YouTube, like LinkedIn, like TikTok, a whole bunch of these platforms now have paid ads. So when you see, for example, on YouTube, if you see an ad before your video and it asks you to click on a link, well, all you have to do is you have to um, run your ad and you put that link to your page. And if you want to be a little more sophisticated about it, you can put a, a page that's um, or a page before your affiliate link, right? So you can go directly to your affiliate link. So the person just clicks the ad and buys directly. Or you can have kind of an in-between page where maybe the person signs up for your email list and then goes to uh, sign up for the product. This is something that I've done in the past. And this is something I did, um, let's see, I did with a, a product on ClickBank. I also did fairly successfully with ClickFunnels. If you're familiar with ClickFunnels, it's a software um, for, for building simple websites online. And, and they have a whole bunch of uh, <clears throat> training and stuff. And so what I was doing is I picked one of their trainings that was particularly valuable and that was free. But then when the person signed up for the free training, then there was an upsell on the next page uh, for a program to, to learn how to do marketing, essentially. And then if they were really into that, then they would sign up for the software. And the software was recurring revenue. And I'd make like, I think it was 40 bucks a month from the recurring revenue plus $100 a month if they signed up for the thing. And so I was just saying, I just got on a video just like this looking at a camera, and you don't even have to have a camera, right? You can just do this on a phone. Um, and you don't even have to do, for that matter, you don't even have to do a, a video necessarily. Um, that you, if you do it on Facebook or something, you don't have to do that. But what I was saying is, hey, here's this free training. So click the link below to sign up for the free training. 
And so people would click the link, they would sign up for the free training. Um, then some of them would buy the upsell and some of them would buy the, buy the software. And so I haven't been doing this for, it's been at least a year since I stopped doing this. Um, and because it, it's hard to know how profitable it is exactly, because you're paying for the ads, right? So you want to be bringing in more than you're paying out. So um, I wasn't quite sure how profitable it was, but here I am like a year later and every single month I still collect a paycheck from that sale, um, from what I was doing back then, because I have people that are subscribed to the software and I just keep getting paid month after month over and over and over again. So that's, that's the cool thing about doing affiliate marketing with uh, recurring revenue. But anyway, so kind of the most obvious way is to do paid ads. Now, if you don't have a lot of money to invest, um, or you know, you're kind of worried about, about investing money, then that might not be the best way to do it. Um, although it is kind of the fastest to the fastest way to prove the concept in a lot of times, because you can just pay for traffic, right? You don't have to worry about um about getting people to look at your thing if you can just pay for it, essentially. So that's Method number one, method number two is SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. What that is, is that you create a web page or you create a video that is optimized for people to search. So when you search in Google, um, how to change a tire, let's say, or that's a bad example. Let's say you search in Google, how to lose weight. And then there's a blog that comes up that says, how to lose weight fast in 2022. or <laughs> something like that. Um, you click on that and then it gives you some tips for losing weight. And then oftentimes it'll have links in there. It'll have links to some weight loss pills or to a weight loss program or something. And then when you click on one of those links, if you buy their product, then the person who owns the blog in most cases is an affiliate and that is their affiliate link that you clicked on and they get a percentage of that. And so they're getting all of this traffic for free over and over and over again through the search results. Now, the way to do this, and I'm th this is the one that I really have not done very much. I'm definitely not an expert in this one. But the way that you do this, if you want to dive into it more fully, is you find the things that people are searching for and you, you kind of use the search algorithm to get your... Uh, your site or your blog or whatever it is. You can do this with videos as well, right? You can do um, SEO on YouTube. And in fact, even since YouTube is owned by Google, when people search on Google, uh, the search how to lose weight, for example, one of the probably towards the top of the search results, there's going to be a few vi videos from YouTube included in those. So you can search engine optimize your YouTube videos as well. If you want to go that route, you can do it with a blog, with a regular website. Anyway, the key is to find what people are searching for and find a way to make your uh, blog or your video more competitive than all of the other blogs and videos that are trying to get that same keyword. And a lot of people use what are called long tail keywords. They use keywords that are a little unusual or not unusual, but are, are very specific. Like when I said how to lose weight, that is very unspecific. But if you say how to lose weight for women over 50 in 2022. Like that's, now we're getting really specific. So how to lose weight is gonna be hard to, to rank for. It's gonna be hard to be on the, on the first page because it's so general, but how to lose weight for women in their 50s in 2022, since it's so specific, it's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot more competitive. And so you, th there's a whole bunch of strategies around there. I won't get into it too much, but that's another way and if you've noticed, actually, that it seems like kind of the quality of search results on Google is going down these days, I think that's wise because a lot of people have figured this out. <coughs> and so now these the pages that come up first are just like crappy articles uh, that, that are, have no real value and then have an affiliate link. So, you know, the fact that it, you see that all the time means that it's working, right? And you could, you know, not have a crappy article. You could have a really good article uh, and then have an affiliate link in it. But, you know, that's the way it's going. People are lazy. People just put crap content with all the keywords so that it, it ranks first and then an affiliate link. Anyway, so that's SEO. Third way is organic social media. This one is pretty cool, um, especially nowadays. 
uh, if you can if you can master this, this will be an amazing skill for your repertoire and just about anything that you decide to do in marketing. So the idea is that you post something on social media that gets a lot of attention. And what you got to do is you got to understand how the algorithm works. And this is going to be different for whatever social media site that you use, right? My favorite, as you can probably tell, is YouTube. But there's a lot of people who are very successful doing this on Instagram, on TikTok. Um, you can do it. You can do it a little bit on Facebook. Facebook's a little tricky, um, but you want basically what you want to do is be able to post a piece of content that doesn't just go to your followers, but that, that gets distributed to a broad audience, right? And so the way that you do that on YouTube, for example, is you put up a video and make it such that a lot of people click on the video and the people that click on the video want to watch the video, right? So if a lot of people click on the video, because it looks attractive. And of the people that click on the video, a lot of people watch a long percentage of it. Then the YouTube algorithm assumes that this is a good quality video and it starts showing it around a lot. And you can do the same thing on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and now there's these shorts, right? There's YouTube shorts, there's Instagram reels, basically the same thing. And then there's the TikTok videos. They all, they all run on kind of a similar algorithm where it works the same way if you know it's a short video and if people click on it and people watch it then it assumes it's good and it shows it to a whole lot of people and so basically what you can do is you can create videos that show to a lot of people that get this kind of viral effect and you can put a affiliate link in the description of your videos and you could even even mention it in the videos if you like and so everybody that clicks on that affiliate link buys the product you get paid. This is especially nice if you have what's called evergreen content. So there's some content that you, you post a video and it goes viral for like two days, but then after that, nobody ever sees it again, right? Whereas there is content that, you know, can go viral for years, right? And you see this a lot on YouTube. Somebody uploads a YouTube video, it's a big hit. And if it's something that's constantly of interest, then people will constantly, um, click on it, right? And, and you know, so this is like something about how to lose weight again, like people are always interested in losing weight, as opposed to like, what Kim Kardashian ate for breakfast yesterday, <laughs> right? Like people are going to be interested in that for a day. But then tomorrow, there's going to be some new news. And this one's really powerful, too, because oftentimes, you don't even have to create your own content, right? And this is something that that I'm going to start pushing soon, is I'm going to let people use my content, just download my YouTube videos, take clips of them, and then create affiliate links from that and use, use my content and just, just post it in novel ways, right? So you don't even have to get on camera. You don't have to make a video. You don't have to make much of anything. All you do is download one of my videos, take a snip, like find 30 seconds of one of my videos that you think is really cool, give it a really provocative title, and then put your affiliate link in it put it on YouTube, put it on, on Instagram Reels, put it on TikTok, whatever, and put your affiliate link in the description. And I'm going to have an affiliate product that uh, I will give affiliate links for. This is, again, this is not something that I have ready yet. If you're interested, though, in the future, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, that would be helpful and, and we'll reach out eventually. But anyway, so you don't even have to make your own content, right? You can just take snips of other people's content and you can, you know, you see super successful YouTube channels do this, right? Like some of the most successful channels don't have any of their own content at all. They're just kind of taking snips and remixing other people's content. So a lot that you can do with that organic social media. The best part is that it is completely free, um, but you do have to kind of understand how to game the algorithm and not even game the algorithm actually because you're using the algorithm the way that it wants to be used you're finding the best content and you're making it as attractive as possible so that people click and people stay on the platform which is ultimately what all of the social media companies want so you're working with the algorithm so that it's showing your content over and over and over again and then every time somebody watches your content they see that link to your affiliate product in the description. So that is number three, organic social media. And then 
Number four, my personal favorite, this is the one that I use most commonly, is addition to product. In other words, you have your own product. And this is, this is really where I have made the vast majority of money that I've made online because you know, you get into this passive income kind of trap. Like a lot of people are obsessed with making passive income. And so they, what ends up happening is that it's, it's kind of difficult to have passive income. Like you can get passive income for a short amount of time, but eventually the income source dies out. And the, even the most passive ways of doing this, right? Like you have um, like if you have SEO, for example, you have something that's ranking at the top of Google and it's getting a lot of traffic and a lot of affiliate sales. Well, eventually people's taste change in there and what they're searching for changes. Or, you know, somebody else does a better job of SEO and beats you out. Now you got to do more work to get it back on top. Uh, with organic social media, same thing. Like a lot of times a video is viral and, and is getting a lot of views for a week or a month or even a year, but eventually it some other it just kind of falls out of favor in, of the algorithm. It just gets to be outdated or something. So what I love to do is to have my own product, um, which is a big, you know, I use paid ads to sell my products, which is a big value add over this, because if you're selling paid ads to a product, to, or you're running paid ads to somebody else's product and you're only getting 40% of the commission or 40% of the revenue from that product, well, that's kind of difficult because if you're doing your own product, then you get 100% of the revenue, right? So to be profitable with paid ads to 40% of a revenue versus 100% of the revenue is pretty difficult. You really, if you can do the 100%, that is really, really ideal. And so when I figured this out is when I started making real money, I started creating my own products teaching people how to do stuff that I already knew how to do. And it, chances are, whoever you are, if you, I mean, unless you're just like a, a couch potato that sits around drinking beer all day and watching Netflix, like if that's your whole life, then, then this probably won't work. But if you know how to do something useful, right? Like if you learn how to get in shape or you've learned how to uh, make money or you've learned how to get a particular job or you've learned how to be better at your job or you've learn how to get through a difficult situation, et cetera, et cetera, then you can teach other people who are in the situation that you used to be in how to do that. And you can charge a lot of money to do that. In fact, you can charge right off the bat, like $1,000 to $2,000 a pop. And here's the cool thing is you can add affiliate products as like a bonus or something that is complementary to the thing that you're teaching. So for example, I have a program where I teach people to create online course programs, right? I teach people how to create their own online course and sell it to make 10 to 30K in the first month. And so what I do is I know that people need software in order to do this, right? They need software to build websites. They need, um, you know, they need to buy ads. They need, well, really it's the software to build a website is the, the biggest one. So I just say, hey, I will, you know, I'll show you how to create your website in the same software that I use to create my websites, which is a really great software. I mean, that's why I use it. You know, it, you, another like side note here is that you don't want to promote stuff that you don't believe in, in my opinion, because if you end up promoting crap and people realize that it's crap because you didn't know what you were promoting, then it ends up leaving a bad taste in people's mouths. It kind of hurts your reputation, which you really don't want in the long term. So I only promote things that I know and I use myself. So for example, you know, when somebody signs up for my program where they have to create websites, I give them or I show them my website builder. In fact, I even include my website, like they can copy and paste my websites and my email sequences etc which is a really big value add for them right because now they don't have to create it from scratch now they just have it handed to them on a silver platter and all they have to do is change the wording and since they're using my affiliate link to sign up for the um, service now i get paid month after month from that affiliate commission uh, which is just bonus money right because my product was already making money and now i'm making 
money on the money, <laughs> right? Like now I'm making bonus money without having to do any additional work at all. So I really love doing that. Think about if you have a product already, um, and you know, if you don't check out some of my other videos, like I can show you how to do that. If you have a product already, then think about what service or what, what thing might per somebody want to buy in addition to that product. So, you know, let, let's take another, a few hypothetical examples here to, to complement. So maybe somebody has a weight loss offer. Um, then, well, they're probably going to want um, maybe some supplements, right? So could you find an affiliate deal with a supplement company that would give you a percentage? Um, maybe they want like a, a fruit juicer and you could set up an affiliate deal with a fruit juicer company. You can set up an affiliate deal with Amazon, by the way. Um, Amazon has affiliates. They don't pay you very much. Like they give you a very small percentage, but you know, small percentage is better than nothing. So if you have like products that you recommend, maybe like workout products, maybe like stretch bands or, or like, um, I don't know, just any, any kind of products that you need to work out, <clears throat> then you could put a, a link to those products on the, for, in fact, you could even have that as a bonus in your offer is like list of all the best products that I use to lose weight fast. And now you have the links that all go to your Amazon affiliate links. And so you get paid on that. Or let's say that you have a dating offer, right? Like you teach people how to, how to be better at dating. Well, probably part of being better at dating is going to be looking better. And so you could have, well, you could have an affiliate program pointing to a fitness program, right? So your program is a dating program. But you say, oh, you know, you want to get, you want to look better. I recommend this program. And you put an affiliate link to a fitness program, right? You get paid on that. You could put affiliate links to certain clothing that you like. Like, um, I'm obviously wearing better clothing is going to make you look better. You could put affiliate links to skincare products, um, to like, I don't know, beard trimmers, <laughs> right? There's, there's, if you think about it, there's all sorts of complementary products that you probably do not sell yourself, but that you could make a percentage commission off of if you point your people to. And chances are you're already using a bunch of those products yourself. Your, your method of doing whatever already relies on a bunch of those products. So why not get paid a little bit on those things that the people are going to buy anyway and that you already know that they need, right? You're not trying to push them on something that they that don't need or is not helpful. You're giving them exactly what they need. Why not make a percentage on the back end? And one more final thing that, that to consider is that you don't want to like try to do all this stuff at the same time, right? This is this big trap that everybody falls into. And you even see ads for it, right? You see like people on YouTube saying, oh, here's this, this amazing new business opportunity and you see if you, you know, if you watch YouTube and you watch videos like this, you're going to get ads like that constantly. And there's every single one of them is a new business opportunity and they're all a little different. So somebody's going to advertise, hey, here's here's this amazing new business opportunity to do affiliate marketing using paid ads. Or here's this amazing affiliate marketing opportunity using SEO. Right. Or here's this amazing affiliate opportunity using social media, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like every single one of these is its own business opportunity. And they all work, right? You can make any of them work given enough time and enough effort. But the point is that if you try to do them all, and like you put a little bit of effort into this and like a little, you have, I mean, your attention is like this, like a pie, right? So let's say that you put, you try to do all four of these. Well, you're just splitting your pie in, in four. So each piece, you're only putting a quarter of your attention to. And so, you know, how, how likely is any of them to succeed if it's only getting a quarter of your attention versus your entire attention? So, um, and, and you know, that's why I like this one too, is because I don't, I don't put a lot of attention on affiliate marketing. My attention is on my product, right? I want to make my product excellent. I want to get it out to a lot of people. And so um, I can make money from affiliate marketing just by adding to my product that, that in the process is already making my product better because it's, it's making it, you know, more workable for my, my students. 
Um, and it's making mo me money at the same time. And I don't have to divide my focus. So as I always recommend, pick one thing, focus on that. Hope you enjoy this. Check out this video if you want more.